we're very excited to um, have this opportunity for you all. Um, this is an amazing opportunity for all of us for, you know, be, to have this language opportunity to happen that is accessible, that is, um, that is, has no barriers of like monetary or things like that. And we just really want to meet people where they are at on their language journey. Um, this is meant to be something that will be um, growing organically. It will, be, we are all learning this for the first time. We're going, you know, thinking Haida has, this is the first time that we're putting on something like this and we're very excited. There is for some, for some housekeeping, there's a Q&A function for those folks, um, attendees. We will be, please, if you have questions, um, please uh, uh, type them into the, uh, the chat function or the Q&A. We'll get those questions uh, to our folks, um, but uh, we're looking forward to, um, to how this unfolds and this journey that we're gonna be upon. Uh, my name is Kha Jung. I'm the uh, uh, Cultural and Heritage Education Manager here at Think in the Haida. Um, I am very excited to be able to, to introduce uh, our, our folks here. Uh, I myself, you know, my, I have two uh, young children, uh, both Haida, who are on their language journeys and themselves five and three years old. And so to be a part of this is super exciting. Um, but please, uh, um, Robert Yates, uh, and Kunhil Hana, see I'm learning, Emily Edenshaw, um, Take it away, and uh, as, as the questions come in, I'll, I'll 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 let you know. But I think maybe sometime maybe between the half the halfway point, I won't uh, inter interfere. Or, um, but uh, but if there are some questions that seem to be like, okay, this is a good one right now, I'll I'll connect with you. So I'm gonna go off camera and enjoy your time together. Good afternoon. Now, uh, uh, thank you very much. Greetings, everyone, and welcome. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I should uh, share the screen. Um, what we're going to do first is um, we are, Kunshla Hana, can you see this Google Doc? Uh, you need to bring, make one of them bigger. There we go. Let's see. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, hold on. Let me click this off. And let me bring up the Haida Nation anthem. And minimize this. Okay. Uh, can you see it now? Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, we're going to start off. Um, a lot of us had is at um, uh, doings and um, potlatches and so on. We will start off. Uh, with the Haida Nation Anthem to um, show our respect as Haida's. And the Haida Nation Anthem, uh, I um, wrote the words here in Google Doc and we sing it three times. The history of the song, um, a, at first, it was um, the canoe coming into the house paddling song. And then um, when the elders stood, stood, stood up to logging at Lao Island in Haida Gwaii, it became known as the Lao Island song. And um, they took this very seriously in Haida Gwaii because um, some of the elders were arrested. And uh, so there's a lot of history and a lot of um, emotion attached to this song. 
And because of that, in 2010, I will quit Lohana for the date. Um, CHN stands for the Council of the Haida Nation. They passed the Lao Island Song to become the Haida Nation Anthem. So this is the history of the song. I'm gonna grab my drum. Oh, and we all, it's Yasha. Everyone stands up for this song. Um, Yasha. Even if we're um, on Zoom um, or live, it doesn't matter. Um, we all have to be um, standing up. So um, I hope everyone could um, see the words and um, follow along and um, sing if you like. And so here goes uh, um, Ida Nation Anthem. Oh, oh, we, oh, oh, we, oh, we, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, we, oh, we, oh, 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 oh, we, Deck Jews. Okay, so uh, need to go into Google Docs. Um, and should move this over so I could bring it up full. Okay, this is interesting. Um, let me make sure the, uh, yeah, uh, Google Docs switched accounts on me, so. <laughs> Um, here we go. Okay, so um, next up is um, kind of introduction. That's not the one I need right now, though. That was the translation. Here we go. Um, Kushlohana, is it legible? Um, okay. Uh, let me know if I need to increase the font. So um, uh, this is my um, Haida introduction. And you may have heard me earlier saying ki uh, pidasa. And that's a formal greeting. Uh, and that is from Lillian Edenso Petfield. And in the 1990s, Encarta um, went to Seattle and they recorded her speaking in Haida. So this is where I picked up the phrase. Um, Duck Juice, can you make it a little bit bigger? Someone said it's tiny for them. Um, yes. How, uh, of, yes, how, uh, um, I agree, it looks a little 
I have a huge monitor, so I can see it just fine. Oh, <laughs> okay. But I'm, I'm so lucky. Let me try 20, font size 20. And... Too big, it went off screen. Go back one. Okay. Um, is that better? Um. Okay. Um, so yes, this is where I picked up formal greeting, E. T. Dasa from Lillian Edensel Petfield. Um, like I said, uh Encarta recorded her um saying this and the exclamation, I mean, the explanation was uh, formal greeting. So I use it um, uh, in uh, introductions and speeches. So, um, and then the, um, the next uh, couple lines are traditional. Um, I know one that I would go to um, mass and give a speech. They would um, like to hear these uh, next two sentences because uh, it was very familiar and traditional for them. Harala isis, atlin anash ikurinai lagan. That means good people. I am happy to be here. Uh, the lung ace, the hungal gun. I am honored with your folks' presence. The lung itzas ace, the goodinai lagan. I'm happy that you folks have come. And then we do our genealogy. Ching, uh, Jenny Ida Vandal Carlson Carl Binanu Ejin. Ilskadai is Ken. Um, Jenny Carl was my grandmother. Ilskadai and Hilinjat were her Haida names. Ilskadai uh, is often um, translated as baby doll. But um, if you break down the word, uh, Eels is a supernatural being. She's the sister of skill. And Gadai means the doll or a specific doll. So it could also mean the doll of Eels. Um, Helinja means um, Thunder Woman. And George Carl de Chinuijin. Um, George Carl was my grandfather. Ethel was with Carl Yates, the Owl Ejin. Um, Ethel Yates was my mom. Uh, um, was her Haida name, which uh, broken down literally means deer, you, deer like the animal. Uh, Ralph Texiates, the Hung Uijin. Um, uh, Ralph Texiates was my dad. And then, as you could tell by his nickname, Tex, he was from Texas. But uh, when my mom and dad had their 50th wedding anniversary at the Hideaway Lodge in Craig, Alaska, um, the Hideaway Lodge was completely packed. And at least half of it was elders from Heidelberg. Um, and so at that 50th anniversary celebration, my Aunt Clara Nat Kong adopted my dad into her uh, Salant's Eagle Clan. And so the next uh, sentence is, Oh gosh, 
Um, uh, oh, oh gosh. Uh, was my dad's hide and name? It means bright, shiny copper shield. And um, at the time that Aunt Claire Natcom bestowed this name on my dad, um, she said um, no one in Heidelberg had this name. Uh, Rob Yates Hinodikyang, my name is Rob Yates. The Jews is Kin Huya Hadas, and who had fish Dikyang. My Haida names are Duck Jews and Huya Hadas, uh, meaning small shrimp and white raven, respectively. The Yalagan, I am raven. The Yalas Gust Udi Walagan, I'm from the Raven Moati. The Uyak Lin Gagan, I am a man of the Yaklanas clan. Yaklanas, Tatnes, Hatai Udi Ejin. I am a Yaklanas Ida of the Dogfish Shark House of Dodens. Yaklanas, Hootsnes, Hatai. Sanu di Ejin. I'm also a uh, Yaklanas Haida of the Brown Bear House of Klinkwan. Yaklanas Hatai Udi Ejin. Um, I'm a Yaklanas Haida. Uh, San Seal Tlustan Hasi Udi Ejin. Uh, my crest is a double fin kilowatt. Kalsplice uh, Uth Ejin, I am from Craig. So, Phil, Trugwang Huntlai Ech Uth Dagen, I live in Juno. Akil Stefan, I'm a Haida language scholar. How about you? Thank you all. And, uh, Kunshle Hana, would you like to do your introduction, please? My good people, I'm, my mind is very happy to be here. Gani Edensha di Nanu Ejin. My mother, my grandmother is Gani Edensha, and she currently lives in Heidelberg, Alaska. Vern Edensha di Chinu Ejin. My grandpa Vern sadly passed away a few years ago. Nancy Weiser, the Aou Ejin. My mom is Nancy Weiser, and she's living up in Anchorage. Robert Edenshaw, Hinu di Hatkyang. My dad is Robert Edenshaw, and he lives in our traditional village of Heidelberg. Sana, um, Emily Edenshaw, Hinu di Kyang. My name is Emily Edenshaw Chathan, or Kuntelhana, beautiful rose blossom, because I am a delicate flower. <laughs> Tlagas kuya Eden cha hinu di get ishlanash kyaang. My son's name is Tlagas, which means the land in Haida. Kuya means precious. I'm trying to make him a little activist. Hol tada shahunogen. So my son is three years old, three winters. Hotkish skatong, and we are Haida language learners. Danunch kilt la awiagen. I thank you very much. Uh, um, okay, so uh, next up is the Haida alphabet. Okay, can everyone see the screen good? Okay. You could make so, it bigger since there's room if you want to. Sure. So let me highlight the page and increase the font. As big as we can without going off the page. Okay, that's that should do it. Login on. Okay, so um there are different versions of the Haida alphabet. Um, 
there are, for instance, a couple letters with a circumflex over them. It looks like an upside down V. Um, as you can see, I don't have those on this page. Um, and my reason for that is uh, those were borrowed from other languages. So um, I'm using the Haida alphabet that um, uh, Kwigai Iwans, uh, Iskian uh, Skiljade um, worked on. And the only difference is at the very end, I added um, the glottal stop with the Y. That's the only, only difference I made. So um, let's start from the beginning. Um, the Haida letter uh, A, uh, we pronounce it like the U in the English word sun. Uh, and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, uh. and um, our Haida word is Aditsi, which means woods, Aditsi. And um, next side of letter up is um, double A, or uh, sometimes we refer to it as the, the long A. Ah, ah, ah. Um, ah, ah, ah. And it's pronounced like the A in father. Um, our Haida word is all. Uh, which means paddle, all. And um, some of these uh, are basically the same as in English. I'll go through quickly. Uh, B, is, uh, as in the B in boat, our Haida word is uh, kabe, scallop. Um, Um, one second, I can research something. Yes, I made an error, my bad. Just gonna take that C out of there. Yes, exactly, it doesn't belong. <laughs> so uh, so my apologies, everyone. Um, um, we do not have a C. We have a CH and it's uh, pronounced like uh, CH in church. Um, a Haida word is chin, which is fish. Um, the Haida letter D the, is the same D as in dog. Um, our Haida word is the guang. That means deer, the guang. Uh, next up, we have DL, du, du. Uh, and it's like the DL as in the English word cradle. And um, our Haida word is flamu. Uh, Kushohana? Um, licorice fern. Hmm. Yes, licorice fern. And, um, but there's an E before EE, -E, right? So we have a, a singular E like in, in Keskit. Oh, okay. It's um, E and then EE. -E. Um, on, Bagan. Kwigai uh, Iwans and Skilled Jade left it off of their sheet. So I inadvertently um, left it off of mine. Uh, but of course, you're right. Um, we have um, a singular E word, um, A, um, which we use all the time. It comes in super handy. <laughs> um, and um, so the uh, single E, um, 
Yeah. Oh, that tells me Oh, I see what they did. Okay, um, on the double E, they're using the Heider word um, A, but I'm used to spelling A with an E. I. Yeah. I. Um, you... So let me see if I could make this screen. look a little better by adjusting the alphabet. <laughs> now that uh, I put it a little bit out of whack, but I'm glad we're um, going over this. This is really important. Okay. Um, so the double E and the EI have a A sound, A, A, A. Um, and as we said earlier, like in the Heidelberg A, um, meaning because of or with. Um, next up, we have the G, G, um, which is the same as same G that is used in the English word good. Um, our Haida word that starts with a G is katao, meaning fork. And up next is the underlined G, which is um, unique to the Haida language. And for this one, um, we don't use the English mouth. We have to use the Haida mouth for this one. Because like I said, it's unique to Haida. So um, we need to put the uh, tip of our tongue against uh, the bottom front teeth um, and blow out over the top of the tongue um, from the back of the throat. And our Haida word is hank, hank, hank. hank meaning water. Um, H, um, it's a hank, uh, same H as in the English word hurry. Um, and um, our Haida word that begins with H is hilugang, hilugang, meaning it's all gone. Um, Kushlohana, do you remember the sign language that goes with it? Um, seemed like um, Skiljare would go out like this and downwards, and that was the um, high to sign language for it's all gone. Um, so I'm trying to, trying to remember the sign language to go with the word. Um, HL is up next, and that is unique uh, to Haida. And so we can't use an English mouth. We have to use a Haida mouth. And um, so we put the tip of our tongue behind our front teeth and keeping our lips at a slant and you'll feel the um, air blowing out on the sides. So um, HL sounds like and our, um, our Haida word that starts with HL is um, an active form of I and me. Um, and the, the variation that they're using is sla. 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 Um, next up is a single I. 
I, um, pronounced as an I and pin. Um, our Haida word is is da, is da, um, meaning take it. Um, the double I um, has a strong E sound, um, as in the English word um, being. Um, our Haida word that starts with a double I is Ishlangan, Ishlangan, and that means a male. And uh, J is J, um, just like the J in the English word jump. Um, our Haida word that starts with a, a J is Jada, Jada, meaning female. Uh, the regular K is the same as um, the K in kite. So it's just a regular. Um, the K with the glottal stop, which we often call the pinch K, um, we have to use a high to mouth to make that um, sound. It doesn't exist in English. Um, it's supposed to pop out, but it's an aspirated right. K, meaning it's it's coming out. So if you see um, like saliva droplets, you're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so you put the middle of your tongue against the roof of your mouth, and that um, blocks off the airflow. And then uh, you produce the K from there, you kick it out. and um, that's where you hear that popping sound. So it's not from the back of the throat, it has to come through the middle and the air is blocked off by um, the middle part of your tongue. Um, so our Haida word um, that starts with a pinch K is a do to sing, a Jew. Um, next K is also unique to Haida. It's an underlying K. Um, some Haidas also refer to it as the high K. And at first I didn't understand why, but I do now because it's not a low K and it's not a guttural K. It's a, it's a soft K. And um, you take uh, the back of your tongue and push it up against um, the back of your roof of your mouth and you block off the airflow back here. Like so right now I have uh, the airflow kind of blocked off, but not really because I'm talking. <laughs> but um, the back of my tongue is pushed up against the back of the roof of my mouth. And uh, once you get um, the airflow blocked, then you produce a soft K from back there. Um, nothing guttural and you're not kicking anything out. It's soft. So um, our Haida word that begins with the underlying K or high K is Kedla. Kedla, uh, meaning go ahead. Um, the last K, we have four Ks in Haida. The last K, we often refer to it as the loaded K because it has the glottal stop and it's also underlined. And it's a cross between um, the pinch K and the underlined K. And um, so 
we do um, block off the airflow just like we did with the underlying K by pushing the back of the the back of our uh, tongue against the back of our mouth, blocking off the airflow, and then kick the K from there. So again, it'll be um, another popping sound, but instead of from the middle of the mouth, it'll be all the way from the back. And so um, our, our height of word that starts with the loaded K is um, kada, 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 uh, meaning to sleep. Uh, next up is L, U, um, like the L in land. Um, our Haida word that starts with the L is um, Luda, uh, ground swell or rolling waves. Um, next up is uh, the L with a glottal stop in front of it. Um, again, we use the Haida mouth. This uh, sound does not exist in English. Um, we have to. Uh, Block off the airflow at the back of the throat, um, just like we did with the underlying K and the loaded K, and um, produce the L sound from um, back here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Our Haida word that starts with um, a glottal stop before the L is. Log and meaning to be fine. Uh, M is the same M and as we would use in English, like the M and mother. Mm. And a Haida word that starts with M is mash, mash, meaning seed. Next up is N, uh, mm, like the N in the English word nice. Our um, kind of word that starts with the N is non, grandmother. And G, this is unique to Haida. You have to use a Haida mouth. You put the tip of your tongue against your bottom front teeth and um, the back of your tongue against the roof of your mouth back here and saying, um, Mm -hmm. uh, through you, through the nose, it's very nasal. Um, and so we're gonna make this sound right now. So put the tip of your tongue against your bottom front teeth, block out the airflow at the back of your mouth, but pushing up the back of your tongue against the back of the roof of your mouth. Mmm, mmm. Mm. And the uh, um, Haida word that starts with the NG that we're using is no, no, uh, meaning broad cap, please. Um, P is the same P that you would use in English, like the P in paper. Um, our Haida word. Um, has a P in the middle of it. It's um, up to, um, meaning mound or hump. The um, P with a glottal stop following is unique to Ida. Um, you have to pop or kick the P out. Um, and it sounds like um, the Haida word that we're going to use has three glottal stops. Um, and it's uh, up it, up it, up it. 
um, to snap or break a thread of rope. Um, as, uh, as in the S in sun, our Haida word that starts with the S is salda, meaning to borrow. T, like the T in English, like the T in team. Our Haida word that starts with the T is um, tada, meaning to be cold, referring to weather. Uh, the pinch T, or the T with a gloss up following. Um, we put our tongue at the back of our uh, front teeth um, that are slightly apart and say the T sound with a snap. Uh, T L, like um, the T L in antler. Our Haida word that starts with T L is uh, Tli. Tli, meaning surely, certainly, how, or quite. TL pinch, I'm trying to go fast because we're running out of time and we have some phrases to go over. Um, TL uh, pinch, put the tongue at the back of your front teeth and um, the back of your top front teeth. And as it comes down, you snap the TL out um, and the air escapes the, the sides of your tongue. So, um, our Haida word that starts with a TL pinch is tli, 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 meaning to sew. TS pinch. Um, uh, this is unique to Haida, but the tip of your tongue slightly at, at the back of your bottom front teeth, slightly curled upward and saying uh, as you snap the air out. Our uh, Haida word that starts with T.S. pinch is stung, 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 meaning teeth are beaver. Um, our single U is uh, uh, as in the U as in put. Um, our Haida word that starts with a single U is un, un, meaning top. Um, the W is uh, um, U sound. Like in the English word spoon, the Haida word that has a double U in it is deuce, deuce meaning cat. Our W is the same as uh, the W in water. Our Haida word that starts with W is wana, meaning to be dull. The W with the glottal stop in front of it is unique to Ida. Um, we pronounce it like the same way we did with um, the L with the glottal stop in front of it. We block off the airflow back here and, um, and produce the W sound from the back. Uh, uh. Well, our Haida word is Bajlu, Bajlu. Um, the Haida X, um, it looks like a regular X, but it's unique to Haida. Um, uh, so we take the middle of our tongue and put it near the roof of our mouth and uh, blowing out air over it. Our Haida word um, that starts with the Haida X um, is Hila, 
in law, meaning to be dry. Um, the X underline is unique to Haida. Uh, it is made with the, um, using the throat above the voice box and um, use it to produce um, a rasping sound when the air is released. And this word we're using is a little tricky. Um, it's a Haida word for halibut and it ends with a W which is silent, the W is silent. And we just round our ears at the end of the word. Um, so, um, no. um, that's halibut. The Y, yeah, is the same Y as in yellow in English. A Haida word that starts with Y is yanu, sea cucumber. And lastly, we have, um, uh, the Y with the glottal stop before it, pronounced the same way as the L with the glottal stop before it, and the W with the glottal stop before, before it. Uh, we block up our airflow back here and produce the, um, the Y sound back here. Our um, Haida word that starts with a Y with the glottal stop before that is yeah, yeah, meaning how strange or weird. Okay, um, I'm sorry I took up so much time on that, but um, that's how it goes when you're doing the Haida alphabet. There's uh, a lot of explaining. Oh, good, Johanna. Okay, we're gonna have to skip right to scripted conversations. Um, so um, we could do um, popular sayings and exclamations um, next Monday and also um, some more scripted conversations. Looks like we have enough time to maybe do a couple. Um, so in these scripted conversations, there's a character named Huya Ewans, um, meaning Big Raven in Old Haida. I'm going to be Big Raven. The other character is Kot Chus, um, meaning Little Deer. And Kushlo Hana is going to be playing the part of um, of little deer. So um, we're gonna skip over all this Sugan stuff and we're just gonna go right to our lines. So I'll I'll start off. Um uh, choose. So do dunk hidden. Eat login, how us and you dunk hidden. Decent login, how uh um Klanu dung ejen. Kau shlai ash ejen. Klanu dung ejen. Klanu dung ejen. So, il. Kluk wang hat shlai ash ejen. Usu dung is done. Anas u shangulang. Anas u shangulgen. Shangula sangeets ah. U Ejin, Iguang Shangulash Hayagen, Hashti Goodnight Lagen, Kusu Dunk is Dang. Jin Kwan Hat Kish Kalangan. Oh, the Goodnight Stigum. Clock Dung Sugin. In Haganan Ush, Klusa Duncan. Waha, Klan Gusu, House Luan. Like, Klan, that's all. 
Um, let's quickly do one more. Those um, ravens, always tricksters. On, on. <laughs> um, okay, so here we have another scripted conversation and we're gonna get right to it. And um, Kunshilhana is gonna start us off. Ahaya. Ja di Taulas touch quick. Dungs kink HD good and night login. Decent. Dakla us. Ang guli gua is. Usu dangas dang. Chin is can school seat. H. Taus tagen. Is can u. Tawai kuts get la us. Ja ang. Pli tau lash a. Out dung spesha. Ang. Di gulagan. Ja hau a. In wadawan lagan. Dung ang tau sh du song. Out tau wai ejen. Um. Tawai ang. Kilagan, Dunga Killa Aoyagan, Kudakshan Tasang, Tawai Kuskit La Aoyagan, Kusu Askais Dung is Tasang. Nung Kayash Inga song, D. H. Dung is Shangulang Shangwa. Jaan. Nang kayas kuyas plan stojusin. Ayat sanai la song. Yankian udang sugen. I think we have enough time for one more. Let's do it. Next, uh, okay, so. Conversation number two is coming up. I hope there it is. And um, yeah, and so uh, Little Deer is going to start us off again. Huya it wants. Gis lu dang tadai heidang. Di tadai cha lai chlef box dang sang dang sang agen. Oh, uh, geese flew down to die hidden. He to die clawly place walk to un again. Dung a talk the hatagan. Jaang geese and do dung kai sanai ejen. Dina. Kai Singai Hulk Kungai Ah Singai Stansungung Gisa Udams Kai Singai Eden Ina Kai Singai Pan Kungai Ah Singai Tlashwak Stansanagin Ikwan Halak Kiyash Shlangan. Huxta! Ulan! Dung ishi ishi dungan. Iskien u akjariya. Hau a kunshilhana. Jahau a dunan shkilt la auyagan. Hulagen. Um, Hulagen, it was fun. On Andi Gula Aoyagen, I really liked it. How, <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us here on um, Click It and Haida's Hot Kill Lunch Hour. Um,
Kachan, are you there? You're on mute. Let me turn my mute. Let me get off mute. <laughs> uh, it was so beautiful to hear um, hear the language and conversation. Thank you. That was so much fun and a fun conversation to have. Um, how ah, uh, we will see everybody next week, uh, same time Monday, uh, twelve to one. So uh, how ah? Anything how else? Kitchen. How are for um, helping uh, host this? Uh, class. It's much appreciated. So Jahawa, thank you very much. And Jahawa U, um, thanks a lot everyone for joining us today. Asenguis Lu, see you later. Austin Kingsan. Austin Kingsan. Kingsan.